More than 212,000 female service members have been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. That's 11 percent of the total force. 120 have been killed in action and more than 600 wounded. And their losses do not end there. That's tonight's Sunday cover. The battles these female warriors face after they return home. Why does it have to be so hard to just have a home and just have like a normal life? Angela Peacock is just 30 years old, a veteran of the Iraq war who was discharged from the army for health reasons and became homeless. So you were living from couch to couch pretty much for a while. Yep, from couch to couch. I was like cleaning people's houses so I could stay with them. It's disgusting, it's a national disgrace that these heroic people are coming home and ending up homeless. It is a female who's homeless, living in a shelter with a kid. Paul Rykoff heads the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans Association, which has issued a report that says homelessness among young returning female fighters is on the rise. The report, Women Warriors, says female veterans earn on average $10,000 a year less in civilian jobs than male vets, making it harder to afford a home. And less than 5% of the homeless shelters run by the Veterans Affairs Department offer women separate housing from men. Well, there are a variety of reasons why someone can end up homeless. Uh, a, a core uh, key factor that many of them face is untreated mental health injuries, like post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, was the reason Peacock was sent home from Iraq. She had spent her time in Baghdad driving in unarmored trucks and fearing roadside bombs like this. You don't ever know, is today going to be the day, you know? And a, a lot of us wrote, no, wrote letters home, like, if I die, give this to my mom. Her downward spiral accelerated when she returned from Iraq. She became addicted to prescription drugs. Her husband left her, and she became homeless. She found it hard to readjust to life back in St. Louis. War does something to you where, like, it just twists everything. And, like, for me, like, I don't look the same. I don't act the same. I don't have the same mannerisms. Like, everything has changed. Almost half of the women that we see uh, or believe are homeless today are under age 35. Peter Doherty is director of the homeless program at the Department of Veterans Affairs. The VA says on any given night, there are an estimated 6,500 homeless female vets. That's double the number from a decade ago. When it comes to female homeless veterans, is there still a lot of work to do? Yes, there's still a lot of work to do because uh, uh, we, we don't think this problem is over. Angela Peacock now rents a house and has new support. G.I. Joe, a companion dog provided by the VA to help her cope with PTSD when she's in public places. Are you happier now? I have my days that I, you know, are hard to get out of bed and, you know, eat fireworks or something goes off and I'm just like done for the day, you know, but it's much better than it was, much better. And for its part, the VA recently announced a five-year plan to wipe out homelessness among all veterans, male and female.